Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going through how we can fix Google Drive unable to connect error. So the first solution is to allow Google Drive through firewall. So to do that, we have to press the Windows key along with S simultaneously so that would open up the firewall. Then click on the first option and then click on the option that says allow an app or feature through firewall option. Then click on the change settings option and scroll down the list and make sure to check both the options that says public and private. Uh, for Google Drive and finally click on apply options and see if this works or not. So the second option involves relaunching Google Drive. So you have to hit control, alt and delete keys together to open up the task manager. Then once the task manager is open, click on the processes tab and then click on view options on the top. Then finally uncheck the group by type option and click on the Google Drive sync option which has the blue drive symbol before it. Then finally click on end task and close the task manager. Then open up the Google Drive and see if the issue still persists or not. Then the third option involves disabling any antivirus software that you are using because sometimes these antivirus softwares also cause uh, such issues. So make sure any antivirus that you are using is disabled. Then the fourth solution involves creating a new account on your uh, Windows PC. So to do that, we'll be going to the start menu and click settings icon and then move on to accounts. Then select on the option that says family and other people from the left pane and click on add someone else to this PC. Then click on the option that says I don't have this person sign in information option. Then select add a user without a Microsoft account settings. Once that's done, simply enter the credentials for the account you want to create and click on next. So once the account is created, click on the account and select the change account type option. Then click on the drop down and select administrator from the options. So this would give up the administrative privilege to the account that we just created and then finally click on OK and then uh, sign out of the current account. Then finally sign into the new account and then run on the application and then check if the issue still persists or not. So we hope that these solutions would have worked out for you guys. Make sure that you hit up the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. Bye.